So the Amazon Fire TV Stick is one of the most popular streaming devices available. It's low cost, very powerful, has a lot of built in features, but there's some things that it is missing. So in this video, what I wanted to do is go over my top five must have Fire Stick accessories. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So let's go ahead and kick it off with number five. Number five is gonna be your Bluetooth remote with keyboard. So Amazon Fire TV Stick is a great device. The remote itself is pretty good and uh, just the layout of it is a comfortable remote. It has all the buttons you need, but sometimes it gets annoying using an on-screen keyboard. So for the past couple of years, I have been using a couple of different remote controls with built-in keyboard on it, and this makes everything just a lot easier in my opinion. Not only when you search for applications, but navigating websites, just having the ability to type on your Fire Stick just makes your life a lot easier. Now there are a couple remote keyboard combos out there that works great for the Fire Stick. Some are Bluetooth and some requires you to plug in a USB dongle. So I'll leave a couple in the description where you can go ahead and check it out along with all the accessories that you'll need to get this up and running. So number four is gonna be an ethernet adapter. So the Fire Stick in itself has a great Wi-Fi chip built in. For the most part, I've had a good experience with the Wi-Fi card and the Fire Stick. However, that's not everyone else's experience. So some people have the Fire Stick either away from their router, or behind their TV where it's not getting a good signal for the Wi-Fi or their Wi-Fi in general is just bad. So the only option is to run an ethernet cable to your device for streaming. So this is where this comes in. There are tons of USB to ethernet adapters out there for your Fire Stick and this really helps a lot. So for the most part, the ethernet to USB adapter are going to be 10-100 so your max speed is going to be 100 megabits per second however on a fire stick a device of this sort which is intended for streaming YouTube videos Netflix prime videos whatever the case is this is plenty of speed because as I mentioned in a lot of my previous videos all you need to stream a 4k video is 30 megabits per second so uh, these ethernet adapters will provide up to 100 megabits per second they're pretty affordable and like i said i'll leave a couple in the description where you can go ahead and check it out i know that amazon makes their own but also there's a lot of third party available ethernet adapters out there Accessory number three is gonna be a hard drive or USB drive dedicated to your Amazon Fire TV stick. So for the Fire Stick, we know that storage is a constant battle. Once you install your favorite applications, maybe a game, download a couple of videos on there, you're pretty much out of storage. And this is where USB or hard drive comes into play. So cool thing is that you can plug in a USB hard drive into your Fire Stick and you can not only add content to it whether it's home videos audio music whatever the case is but recently amazon released a feature where you can adapt the storage to your device which allows you to install applications on your fire stick now this in my opinion is a game changer however not all applications are supported in my opinion this is a good investment for your fire stick uh, it gives you more flexibility gives you more storage options and for the most part usb drives or hard drive SSDs are pretty inexpensive. Again, check the description for a couple recommendations for storage on your Amazon Fire TV stick. Accessory number two, and this might come as a shocker to a lot of folks, is an HDMI capture card. And I've done a full video on this. A video capture card, the one that I'm showing right now, is only about $25. And what this allows you to do is basically take your Amazon Fire Stick on the road with you gives you the flexibility to plug in your fire stick into your laptop and use your laptop as a screen for your fire sticks now where this will come in handy is if you're on the road if you're off grid or if you just don't have a, a tv screen or a monitor in your location you can use this on your pc use this on your mac use your fire stick as you normally would and this gives you the option of course to bring all of your content with you because most of the time you're not going to get the same content on your pc or your mac as you do on your fire stick especially if you have some third-party applications again i did a full video on this i'll link this in the description this really changes your perspective how you can use the fire stick especially when you're on the go accessory number one is of course OTG adapter. So we've mentioned the Bluetooth remote or keyboard. Some options that have the USB receiver that you need to plug in. We also talked about Ethernet to USB adapter, hard drive. 
All of these accessories requires a USB port for you to plug in and this is exactly what an OTG adapter does. So again, the OTG adapters are couple different versions there are a couple three ports there's one port what an otg adapter does is plug into your fire stick then it branches off essentially splitting some of the connections and giving you a usb drive or multiple usb drives to plug in accessories now as i mentioned this allows you to not only plug in your your ethernet adapter if you're using that or even a usb drive or hard drive but it also opens it up to plug in other accessories into your fire stick this is one of the must have of the must have features for your Amazon Fire TV stick. Again, check the link in the description for my recommended OTG adapters. So drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know which accessories you use. Let me know if there's one or a couple on this list that you didn't know about already. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.